What's happening, fellas? Here's a beauty that should need no introduction, the classic BMW R75-6, 50 years old, the 1972 model. It's set up nicely with a Magura set of Magura low bars, Magura grips. Um, the original, Junior told me this is the original factory paint job on this bike, which is absolutely freaking remarkable that it's 50 years old and it looks this good. An indication of the kind of loving care this bike has had its whole life. If you've been following the toaster tanks, the values have been going through the roof. Buy this while they're still affordable. They're, uh, they only made so many of them, and uh, the people in the know know the guys are buying these and, and using them for daily drivers for transportation. Why? Because they're reliable, they're vibration-free, they're, they're smooth at highway speeds, and they're basically bulletproof. Love the paint combo on this, a black headlight with the white tank, all the chrome, all the raw metal finish on the engine chrome pipes just an absolutely beautiful piece it has a luggage rack and the saddlebag mounts on it already and it rides great let's do a drive-by demo plenty of power for two up riding this one has a beautiful corbin saddle which has white piping on it to match the paint job gives it a nice racy look uh it has kind of a cafe style to it with the low bars and the corbin seat and no bags very sporty looking and it rides like it looks it rides Time for story time with Uncle Ken. Back when I was about 18 years old, I worked for Rotor Rooter and I used to go to people's houses and uh, do drain cleaning. And I got to the guy's house and I saw a set of saddlebags hanging out of the back of the garage, all shriveled up like they had been sitting outside in the, in the rain for five years because it had been. And the front half of it was inside the barn. I couldn't really see what it was. So the guy said, yeah, it's an old BMW. I, I crashed it, I laid it down and broke the right cylinder head and uh, I ended up trading him the drain cleaning job, which was like $150 for the motorcycle. And it needed a head. I went to Canton BMW, which they, when we opened the museum, the guy who retired for Canton BMW, the owner who knew me for a long time, gave me the sign from his place. And one of the guys from the BMW club that was here, actually the AMCA, offered him $5,000 for the sign when it was in the back of his truck and said, no, I'm giving it to Ken. I want it to stay in the museum forever which was really cool, I really appreciated that. But I bought the head off of them for like $250 a used head, I put it on that bike, and it was, the bags were so shriveled up, they were like, like grapes on the back. I took the bags off, and it was all dirty and crusty, and I couldn't believe how nice that BMW cleaned up. And it's because the paint and the chrome on the BMWs is a cut above the Japanese bikes and the American bikes for sure. To find one like this, that's 50 years old, with original paint and low miles on it, is really a remarkable find. So I drove that bike for three summers. It was an R, R60 slash five. This one here is the R75, the, the bigger engine. So the R60, same four speed transmission, very similar setup on it, ergonomics wise. I drove it for, for a few summers and I sold it for $1,100, which was like three times what I had into it and it was worth every penny. Moral of the story is, these bikes are rebuildable, they're serviceable, unlike the new bikes that are all fuel injected and computer controlled and liquid cooled and all that. Look at the motor. Uh, it's like, built like an airplane engine. The re reliability of it is, is what you'd expect to find in something you're gonna fly. They're absolutely bulletproof, easy to work on. The carburetors are right out here in the open, super easy to rebuild. This one runs and rides and looks awesome. The brakes, the clutch, the engine, everything works really nice. To my knowledge, it doesn't need any work. The techs took a look at it. All the fluids are nice and clean. It was well preserved by the previous owner. Guys, this is from the Terry Sather collection. Terry is a BMW specialist, engine builder and, and restoration guy who's been in the business forever. He mentioned his name. Guys, look up Terry Sather, bring a trailer. You can see some of the machines that he's restored and sold. Mostly a car guy, 2002s, and, and, uh, but he's brought through some incredible equipment, some M M1s. And we, we were actually down in Austin picking up a built S54 
motor. Uh, that's an M3 motor from the 01 to, to uh, 06 E46 M3s. And Terry mentioned that he had this and uh, two K1s. We ended up making a deal. It's titled in Terry's name. It's from his personal collection. And uh, we got it running and riding beautifully. And this is a, this is a guy that knows how to maintain uh, some equipment to say the least. So Terry's getting out of the business. He's getting ready to retire after a long career. He, the guy's paid his dues and, and uh, um, certainly to, to the community. Well respected. I mentioned his name to someone up here, uh, all the way up here in Connecticut. And he said, oh yeah, Terry, the OG. <laughs> Absolutely. Definitely knew what he was doing. Uh, we had to do virtually nothing to the bikes just the way it came in. Um, there may be a work order with a couple of notes on it, but this is the way it arrived and it's a kick-ass machine. Hopefully somebody who buys it will enjoy it. It's going in the New England Motorcycle Museum on the second floor with the Ted Smith BMW collection, the president of the Antique Motorcycle Club of America, Yankee chapter. He's got some beautiful bikes in there. Uh, this will look right, right at home alongside his. It's a beautiful piece. Whoever gets it, good luck and God bless America. Oh, whoa. oh, oh, we almost fumbled. That was close. I, my, my right, my, my right arm's still screwed up. I can't really pitch or catch with my right arm yet, but I can still, I can still lift my arm up and ride a motorcycle. And that's all. That's what keeps me from getting depressed. So Billy Blythe, our resident Isle of Man and BMW aficionado, he owns a, a few, quite a few old ones. Wanted to take it for a ride. He's like, this thing's man. We'll get a few words of wisdom from him when he pulls up. Yeah. He seems happy. <laughs> I told you. He's all stressed out on the phone in there. I said, you look, you look like you need a ride on the BMW. He'll tune you right up. We don't need a company psychologist when we have BMWs to ride. You look good on that, Billy. That's a sweetheart. You know, this is, it's all me. I love these things. Isn't good it beautiful? Lord. Yeah, it is. It's, I mean, it's so lively. It's like a new bike almost, really. This is unusual. Junior said it's original factory paint on it, which is quite remarkable. It is. Look, you can see it's got a little metal flake in it. Can you put it on the on the center stand for a second? Okay, spot. It's right there. Has a center stand for washing and tuning it. There's something I wanted to point out. Check out this saddle, Kenny. This is a top of the line Corbin saddle. Gives you a lot more room for the driver to, to slide back a little bit and it gives you a little lumbar support. Beautiful saddle. I don't know what these cost for a BMW, but I'm sure they don't give them away. And uh, if you look underneath the seat, it has a, a, a unique um, bracket system, which it basically just uh, has these two brackets that hook around here. You can see it has the Corbin saddle. I wanted to point out the tool kit that came with this. This is the original factory BMW tool kit. Look at this thing. It's uh, set 50 years old and it's in great shape. Can you hold the mic for a second? It's got the original factory uh, paint job with the original factory engine oil, spark plugs, tires, and the factory BMW logo. All these tools are stamped BMW. It's the original factory tool kit. Just a nice touch that, that you don't, you know, in, in the course of 50 years, things like this tend to have a habit of disappearing, you know? It's pretty remarkable. And with just that tool kit, you can do a lot of the BMW service on the bike. I mean, just that tool kit. Billy, the mic. Yeah. Billy, yeah. you've owned a lot, a lot of these. Give us your, your opinion on, on these. Yeah, I have had a few of these and over the years. Um, I had an R60 slash 5 that was nowhere near as nice as this, and it was about 35 years ago. These bikes are known for longevity, good handling, simplicity, easy to work on. But this one's been very well preserved. You know, it shows signs of use. But why wouldn't it? You know, somebody got some miles on this. How many miles are on the clock? I think it's um, 63,000. 63,000 miles, just barely broken in. The yep. uh, shocks are Coney shocks on it, too. Yep, Coney shocks on the back. That's a period upgrade, period correct upgrade. Billy was quite pleased with his ride. He's going to go on another ride, and that's going back into the museum. Call us if you have any questions, 860-454-7024. Thanks for watching, and God bless America.